Comey's edits to the Hillary probe change everything and we've got them. Conservatives have been more than disappointed that former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton has not been formally charged with wrongdoing in her email scandal, and recently released documents from the FBI showed how the Bureau likely protected her from criminal liability by carefully choosing their words. In a December 14 letter, Senator Ron Johnson, chairman of the Senate Homeland Security and Governmental Affairs Committee, explained to FBI Director Christopher Ray how multiple editions of former FBI Director James Comey's draft statement on the Clinton email investigation showed a watering down of the situation by the Bureau. For example, in an early draft, Comey said it was reasonably likely that hostile actors gained access to Clinton's private email account. But that statement was later changed to say the scenario was merely possible. He also changed his description of Clinton's legal actions from grossly negligent to extremely careless, a key legal distinction, as negligence implicates criminal charge-worthy conduct. Senator Johnson aptly argued in his letter that the original wording could be read as a finding of criminality in Secretary Clinton's handling of classified material. In particular, Clinton most likely violated Section 793F of the Federal Penal Code, Title 18, which states, Whoever, being entrusted with or having lawful possession or control of any document, writing, code book, signal book, sketch, photograph, photographic negative, blueprint, plan, map, model, instrument, appliance, note, or information, relating to the national defense, one through gross negligence permits the same to be removed from its proper place of custody or delivered to anyone in violation of his trust, or to be lost, stolen, abstracted, or destroyed, or, two, having knowledge that the same has been illegally removed from its proper place of custody or delivered to anyone in violation of its trust, or lost, or stolen, abstracted, or destroyed, and fails to make prompt report of such loss, theft, abstraction or destruction to his superior officer, shall be fined under this title or imprisoned not more than 10 years, or both. In his recommendation to the Justice Department that Clinton not be charged, the former FBI director said that his team could not support bringing criminal charges on the facts of Clinton's case because prior cases charged involved some combination of, clearly intentional and willful mishandling of classified information or vast quantities of materials exposed in such a way as to support an inference of intentional misconduct, or indications of disloyalty to the United States, or efforts to obstruct justice. We do not see those things here, Comey contended. Though, as we all can clearly see from the statue, neither clearly intentional or willful mishandling is required for someone to be found in violation of the federal law. What is required, however, is gross negligence which, by all appearances, Comey and his team purposefully chose not to use in his description of Clinton's actions. We can see from the progression of his edits that he made the decision to not use that phrase, in favor of something less criminal. To make matters worse, the person who reportedly changed the language from grossly negligent to extremely careless, was none other than Peter Strzok the former special counsel investigator who worked with current special counsel Robert Mueller on the Trump-Russia probe, but was fired after he found to have sent nasty, anti-Trump texts to another FBI agent. This means that someone with obvious personal hostility toward then-candidate Trump had a huge role in protecting Clinton from criminal liability during the 2016 presidential campaign. Fortunately, Trump won the election despite Strzok's efforts and the questionable FBI recommendation, but the situation raises yet another question about the credibility of the Bureau's investigations. Because the same special agents who carefully chose words that would protect Clinton later worked on the Trump-Russia probe, who's to say that they didn't let their hostility for the president influence that investigation, as well? Is it even possible for President Trump to get fair treatment by this FBI? Like and share this article on Facebook and Twitter and let us know what you think about Comey and his team watering down their findings regarding Clinton's unsecured email server scandal. How can we ensure that the FBI is conducting fair, nonpartisan investigations? Scroll down to comment below. And below.